Welcome back. Today we are going to do so much cool stuff. First, we will run the REST API server that we built and installed last time, as a core lightning plugin. Then we will access Ride the Lightning, over Tor, from another country. And finally, I will show you how to connect the Zeus mobile wallet, to your node, also over Tor. Let's begin. The cool thing about running the REST server as a plugin, is that you won't have to deal with turning it on, or off. It will start, and stop, with your core lightning node itself. Okay. So I have my node running. I will open a couple of terminal windows, and leave the REST server, and ride the lightning, running. I want to make sure that everything we did last time, works. Accessing Ride the Lightning, through Nginx. Everything is okay. I will stop both servers, and shut down Core Lightning. So, take a look at the contents of the REST server directory. There's a plugin.js file, that we can use as a Core Lightning plugin. From now on, I will treat it as such. So I will move this directory to, plugins available, and create a symbolic link, to the JS file, in plugins enabled. We covered this procedure in greater detail, during the plugins video, so check it out if you're confused. Core Lightning will not read the REST server's configuration file, when the server is running as a plugin. So we need to add these lines to the core lightning config file. Restart core lightning, and list your active plugins. The REST API server, is running as a plugin. Listening on port 3001. Since I have moved the REST server's data directory, I need to update the path to access.macaroon, in Ride the Lightning's configuration file. I will start Ride the Lightning, and try accessing it. Now, I will show you how to connect to your Ride the Lightning server, from anywhere in the world over the Tor network. We can create a hidden service that listens on port 80, and forwards traffic straight to Ride the Lightning, on port 3000. Or, we can use an additional layer of encryption, by making Nginx, the listening service. I will do the latter. If you are confused about this, please, make sure to watch the previous video on this series, and also the provided link below where I go in greater detail about setting up a Tor hidden service. So, I will create a Tor hidden service for Ride the Lightning. Editing the Tor RC file. I will reload Tor and save the onion address of the hidden service into a file, on a USB drive. Ok. So I am ready to go somewhere else. I'll take the USB drive with me. How about, Russia? Ok. So let's get the onion address from my USB drive. And use the Tor browser to access it. Congratulations! 
Now you can access your Ride the Lightning server, from anywhere, over Tor. And finally, we are going to connect the Zeus Lightning mobile wallet, to our core Lightning node. We already have the necessary infrastructure in place. A REST API server. We want to do this, over Tor. And yes, you guessed it. We need to set up another Tor hidden service. So let's do it. I'll move the address into my USB drive. One more thing. Zeus Wallet needs the REST server's macaroon file. In hex format. We can convert it, with the following command. Please remember that we move the REST server directory into, plugins available. I will append this to the file in my USB drive. I have everything I need to connect to my node from Zeus. Get started. Connect a node. Click the plus sign. Select the node interface, Core Lightning REST. Type a name for your node. Onion address of your node. Our REST server is listening, on port 3001. Macaroon file in hex format. Use Tor. Save node config. Congratulations! You have connected Zeus, to your core lightning node. Over Tor. Next time, I will end this series, by showing you how to install the Spark server. Yet another way of connecting your core lightning node, to desktop and mobile wallets. See you then.